Hey everybody, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small. Today, I'm not going to be looking at a miniature. I am going to be looking at a book. I know, that sounds weird. We are Miniatures Great and Small, not Books Great and Small. However, this book is about miniatures. So, we've got this book from Ye Olden Days, Sea Battles in Miniature. Now, why am I showing this to you guys? Because this book was very uh, much a big part of my journey into the hobbying space. So I um, got a copy of this back in 1981, I believe. So I was maybe 11. And this was one of the first books, probably the first book I saw that was dedicated to miniature gaming. And I just thought it was amazing. Now, this was published in 1980. Uh, it's written by Paul Haig, and um, you can see it's got galleys on the, the front. Now, these are all hand-built models of these galleys, which is really cool. And on the back, it talks a little bit about the, the blurb. Um, now, this isn't my original copy. I had to track this down and, and order a copy because I had such fond uh, memories of it. But um, it's a really cool book. And... Um, it says Paul Haig, the author's 29 when this was written, so he's probably in his 70s now. Paul, if you're you're watching, uh, you know, shout out to you. This was a, a great book, and I really enjoyed it. Um, this book, and we're not going to do a page turn, but this book has um, several different uh, periods that it covers as far as naval warfare, and it has hobby suggestions for each period, and those hobby suggestions are um, very uh, different depending on the game. There's also, it talks about the game for each one of those periods too. So not only does this have how to play, but it has, you know, how to build the models. And one of the first, my first exposures to it was battle reports. Uh, each one of these chapters has a battle report. The one that really caught my mind is the Battle of Thestos, um, which is chapter 44 which is those lovely little um, and galleys you see on the cover so you know this book talks about the history it has the rules it shows the models it talks a little bit about how to build them um, but very fun fun rules these balsa wood and I remember building them when I was 11 or 12 um, out of pieces of balsa wood you could put 15 millimeter you know Romans on the deck as the crew so they're you know larger scale but you can see I mean it's got you know seven or eight pages of of rules and then it has the scenario that they played the battle report which I'm pretty sure is just a fictitious as part of the author's campaign the layout and some awesome black and white pictures of the battle but it goes into great detail it's basically the blueprint for modern battle reports it tells a really engaging story about the battle and uh, it's really fun and you can see those great galleys in action but, I mean, then that's just one chapter. You've got a game, how to play, um, but there's there's others. There's sailing ships. Um, I think the sailing ships are made out of old Airfix models, if I remember right. You have ironclads, the ironclad period. Just some really cool stuff. I think in the front they talk a little bit about the assembly. And here, like, here's how to build a ironclad out of balsa wood and cardstock. Two-dimensional ships. These are Airfix models that have been modified for gaming purposes, so you can remove the mast. You can probably still find those models. You know, um, regular models that you could still uh, purchase to this day, and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> I love the animation of this guy. I wonder if that's what the author looks like. 
but he looks like he's having a good time. Anyway, I'm not going to go on and on, but uh, I just wanted to share this book with you because I uh, really enjoyed this. And I, to this day, I love naval uh, warfare. And maybe I could find a way to 3D print these. That Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, but I thought uh, you might enjoy seeing this book. And also, I'd like to hear down in the comments below what you guys think. Are there any books or magazines that really inspired you to get into the hobby? Uh, share those down in the comments below. As always, we would always appreciate a like and subscribe. Click that bell to receive notification when we release new content. Um, if you like our Flames of War stuff, check out our Patreon. If you just want to support the channel overall, check out that join button down below and become a member of the channel and uh, get access to things like emojis. Um, you know, exclusive videos, all that good stuff. All right, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep on gaming.